Hi everyone, I am Jill Reagan of Whispering Willow Farm and today I am extending an invitation to invite you all into my kitchen. So I fed my sourdough starter, Otis, but I overfed and I had way too much and so I was left with a lot of discard and I thought, what's a fun, easy holiday recipe I can throw together with a sourdough discard? So I got on my phone, did a quick internet search and turns out that biscotti is actually a really easy a recipe to make and you can throw in sourdough discard. Now, if you all know me at all, I absolutely love coffees and teas, so the idea of making this holiday biscotti and dunking it in my coffee every morning seemed really, really delightful. So today, I'm going to be making a pumpkin spice and almond biscotti, so I am altering uh, this recipe quite a bit just based off of the ingredients that I have. Plus, I thought the holidays are here. Um, we host a lot for the holidays. Uh, I'm serving coffee or hot tea, and so I just kind of wanted to make this festive. You could also do white chocolate morsels or peppermint. Um, you could really kind of just play around with this. You could do cranberry, really make it holiday related and festive. But I would just say whatever you have on hand, play around with it. If you don't have any sort of chocolate morsels, omit it and just use the almonds. I think that that's probably just fine. So more than likely, everything you need for this recipe, you probably already have in your cabinet or your pantry. So chocolate chips, if you're using them, uh, your raw almonds, we're gonna be roasting these in a minute. You need some brown sugar, a couple eggs, some vanilla extract. You could also use any other sort of extract if you maybe didn't have those chocolate morsels and you wanted to do holiday flavor. You could add in a peppermint or maybe an almond extract. We have got some oil here. We're gonna be using an all-purpose flour. And then of course, the main star of the event is your sourdough discard. Now you're gonna preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and arrange your raw almonds on a sheet tray. Once your oven is preheated, you'll just toast those almonds for around eight to 10 minutes and then set your almonds aside to cool. Once they're cool and easy to touch, just give them a rough chop and set them aside for later in the recipe. So while you have your almonds baking in the oven, it's a great opportunity to start mixing together all of your other ingredients. So I am doing a variation of Farmhouse on Boone's recipe. I omitted a few things she had in hers. I'm adding a few of my own things and that's kind of what I like to do. I like to find a basic recipe and then kind of tweak and alter it towards my own taste buds. So I encourage you guys to do this as well. Uh, take this recipe as a base and then and make some adjustments, maybe take some things out. We're gonna add one and a third cup of brown sugar. And then a fourth a cup of olive oil. Now you're gonna mix this together really, really well. If you have uh, a KitchenAid mixer, this would be a great opportunity uh, to use that. I don't, I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it really good by hand. Once you've mixed together the brown sugar and your oil, you are going to throw in two eggs. Up next, we will add our vanilla extract. This is going to be a fourth of a teaspoon. You could add any other type of extracts if you wanted here, especially if you wanted to do some seasonal ones. I mean, you didn't have the chocolate chips for them. You could omit with an extract. And then I'm gonna do a half a cup of my sourdough discard. Go ahead and mix that well. After that, we're gonna add two and a half cups of your all-purpose flour and a dash of sea salt. I'm also going to add around eight ounces of the chocolate chip. Now you can completely omit the chocolate chip out if you don't want. Um, so I'm going to be adding the almonds in as well, roughly chopped. 
I've got the pumpkin spice flavor. You could do like I had mentioned, the peppermint, a dark chocolate. You could add cranberries. Whatever you plan on adding as you're filling though, now's the time that you wanna toss it in. Now you are going to add your almonds as well. I'm gonna take my hands and just mix this really well. Alright, so the dough itself is extremely, extremely sticky. I couldn't form these into loaves right now if I wanted to, which I've done a lot of research and apparently that's pretty common when you're making this. So what I'm gonna do is just pop it in the fridge for about five minutes and I'm gonna pull it out and it'll be a lot easier for me to divide this into two loaves and get ready to bake it. Now we are going to take this and place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to chill. Now that these have chilled for 30 minutes, they're gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees for around 30 minutes. I've let this cool about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna take my serrated knife here and I'm just gonna cut this in slices and then we're actually gonna do another bake. So I have another baking sheet here that I'm gonna put these onto once I get them cut. All right, you guys, I have officially finished these holiday pumpkin spice biscottis. I am real excited to have my coffee in the morning. These are gonna be so delicious just dunked in there. So like I said, I took a recipe and took, you know, did my own variations to it. You could easily dip these. I've seen that. I've seen people use gingerbread. I mentioned peppermint earlier. Uh, you could just do traditional and not put any fillings. Um, this was pretty easy if you have extra discard. The only thing I would say is to be mindful of is that the baking process, it was very sticky. So for me, it took me a while. Maybe next time I would have made my dough a lot uh, flatter. That way it baked quicker. But other than that, I think this is gonna be a great garnish to my lattes in the morning. I know that we are real excited. So if you're looking for a holiday dessert, you serve a lot of coffee, you've got family or friends over, I think you should definitely add this one to the list. So I will find the link to the recipe that I modified and it will be down in the description below. But thank you all for hanging out with me in the kitchen today. I'll talk to you soon.